Welcome to Top 10 Archive, from Fergana Valley to the Amoco Cadiz incident. In this video, we will look at the top 10 oil spills in recorded history. In all fairness, we have omitted the Kuwait oil fires and oil lakes of 1991, as they were intentional oil spills. Number 10, Amoco Cadiz oil tankers. The Amoco Cadiz oil tanker's last day sailing the seas was on March 16, 1978, when it caught itself on a sandbar just three miles or five kilometers off the coast of France. Several attempts were made by German and French tugboats to pull her to open waters, but because of the stormy weather, these attempts were to no avail. At 9.04 p.m., the ship ran itself deeper onto the sandbar, which ripped through the hull. As soon as the engines were flooded, the 1,619,048 barrels of oil being transported were lost to the French shoreline. Within a month of the cleanup effort, the oil reportedly spread another 100 miles or 160 kilometers down the coastline. Number 9. The Castillo de Belver The Castillo de Belver oil spill commenced on August 6, 1983. This was caused by a fire that had ignited on the Spanish tanker when it was just 70 miles or 110 kilometers northwest of Cape Town, South Africa. What makes this spill so horrific is that at the time of its occurrence, the tanker was carrying light crude oil through an environmentally sensitive area. An abundance of seabird rookeries and fisheries were present. An estimated 1,848,000 barrels of crude oil are believed to have been lost. The only positive thing to be said about this sad event is that, luckily, there were no human casualties. Number 8. ABT Summer May 28, 1991 was certainly not a good day to be a crew member on board the ABT Summer, a Liberian-registered transport tanker. Although the exact number is still unknown, investigators suspect it was loaded with approximately 1.9 million barrels of oil when it exploded just 800 miles or 1,287 kilometers off the coast of Angola, Africa. Shockingly enough, there is still no logical answer as to what caused the detonation. One crew member was immediately declared dead, and another four went missing and were never found. In the ABT Summers case, cleanup costs for this oil spill were at an all-time low. All of the oil ended up dispersing into the ocean. Number 7. Iran-Iraq War in the midst of the Iran-Iraq War, which had commenced on September 22, 1980, a tragic and very interesting series of oil spills occurred, one of which was the result of a supply vessel ramming into a rig which caused wellheads to be severed. At first, there was an estimated loss of over 1,500 barrels of crude oil per day. Ongoing hostilities and confrontations between the countries meant that this wasn't a pertinent concern at the time and allowed the rig to spill oil for nine whole months. By the time it was finally sealed with a cement plug, 1,904,761 barrels of oil had already been lost to the Persian Gulf. Eleven workers were also killed in this tragedy. Number 6. Fergana Valley the Fergana Valley Uzbekistan oil spill of 1992 occurred when the Mingbulak oil field had a blowout on March 2nd at well number 5. This was one of the most active energy and oil refining sites in all of Asia at that time. Oil that came gushing out as a result of the blowout immediately caught on fire and burned for an astonishing two months straight. On average, at least 35,000 barrels of oil would spill each day, but at one point, this number even tripled for some time. The two million barrels of wasted natural resources stopped flowing by themselves without human intervention because of the hostile conditions. What makes this spill notable is that it is the largest to be reported inland. Number five, the Atlantic Empress. The Atlantic Empress was a large crude oil carrier built in Denmark and launched in 1974. Just five years later, on July 19, 1979, it collided with the Aegean Captain, 18 miles or 28 kilometers off the coast of Tobago. The Atlantic Empress was on its way to Texas, while the other oil transporter was en route to Aruba. The collision was deemed an accident and was the result of heavy rain and thick fog. Fire and the impact subsequently claimed 27 crew members' lives. 
The Empress burned for another week, having burned 7,000 to 15,000 gallons of crude oil per hour. In total, 2,102,380 barrels of the substance had leaked into the West Indies. Number 4. Ixtoc Ixtoc-1 was a semi-submersible exploratory drilling rig located in the Bay of Campeche, which is part of the Gulf of Mexico. On June 3, 1979, the well suffered a blowout, resulting in one of the largest oil spills in history. This is believed to be an accident that was caused when the Pemex-owned rig lost drilling circulation in the mud. The mud provided a counterpressure to the oil and, when no longer present, created a major crude oil blowout. The substance soon ignited and pulled the Setco 135F drilling rig to the seafloor. For some time following the initial explosion, up to 30,000 barrels of oil would be lost each and every day. After a 10-month spill, 3.3 million barrels of oil had leaked into the Gulf of Mexico and had even made their way to Texas beaches. Number 3. BP Oil Spill the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, also known as BP, had a significant impact on the United States' view on the oil industry. It all began on April 20, 2010, in the Gulf of Mexico at the Macondo Prospect. The explosion and the sinking of the Deepwater Horizon oil rig claimed the lives of 11 workers and is widely considered to be the largest accidental marine oil spill. For 87 days, a seafloor oil gusher continuously flowed until finally plugged on July 15, 2010. A U.S. District Court found BP primarily responsible for the spill due to negligence. They paid several fines and civil settlements totaling $60 billion. The number of spilled oil is believed to be an incomprehensible 4,761,904 barrels. Number two, the Gulf War oil spill. It occurred because of the Gulf War, as the name so clearly implies. The strategic goal of this spill was to foil any attempts made by U.S. Marines to land in the area. Also, it made commandeering oil reserves almost impossible for the opposing forces. Reports coming from Baghdad claimed that American airstrikes had caused the oil to discharge from two tankers. Bombs were actually dropped from U.S. fighter jets to prevent any more spillage from entering the Persian Gulf. Number 1. The Midway Sunset Oil Field The Midway Sunset Oil Field, located in Kern County, California, is home to the largest accidental oil spill in history. The Lakeview Oil Company started drilling at their number one well on January 9, 1909. For the first several months, nothing but natural gas was found. But this all changed when Lakeview partnered with Union Oil. Because of a lack of modern safety precautions set in place to prevent blowouts, on March 14, 1910, pressure soon built up and allowed a reported 9 million barrels of crude oil to spew sky high. This was also the longest accidental oil spill, lasting for an entire 18 months. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below 